Hey, Peanut, here, what you got? You helping me pick up the branches? Yeah? Ooh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he just wanted to play the game. Come on, Peanut, bring it over here. Bring it over here, Peanut. No, he's just looking for a chew toy. Hi, Annie. Hi, good morning. Welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> nice to see you too. You want to show us around the garden? Around the garden? Yeah, sure. we have to give our audience some update. I know, it's been a while. Yes. Since you were in China all summer. And you're the one take charge of the garden, so you I, should do the update. Well, I didn't really take charge of the garden so much <laughs> as ignore the garden and take care of the kids. <laughs> it's okay. Let's go take a look. All right. Well, you see, I've been doing some maintenance here. Trimming the trees, thinning it out a little bit, moving them away from the roofs, cutting them back from the roof. Mm -hmm. You see the trailer load? That's the second trailer load I took off of this tree. Lots of things to do around the farm. That's what you have to do if you have a farm, right? Yeah. Here we go. Let's work hard. Come on. Jayu. Come on, Peanut. <laughs> He's a little crazy. He's always crazy. Crazy dog. So the garden, we, Regina and I spent uh, a few days cleaning things up here, pulling weeds, so it wouldn't mm -hmm. look too bad on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad to show them in the camera. It, it, was, it was pretty bad. It's like I said, it's been a, some weeks since I'd really done anything with it, so it got pretty overgrown with weeds, and that's what happens. If you're not pulling weeds, the weeds will take over. So, Correct. But we went and we pulled weeds and we tilled the garden, and you can see now it's looking much better. We rolled back the uh, drip line so we could uh, clear out and till the garden down at the other end there and get it ready for planting. But we've still got some of the king chive right there that we've been digging up and selling. You see, this used to be almost all full with the king chives, but uh, you guys have been buying them all summer and I've been digging them up and shipping them to you. So <laughs> thank you for buying them. We have some survivors. We have some survivors. I did maintain some okra to so have some okra to eat over the summer. The kids enjoy the okra, so we keep growing it. You we are it. saving them for now because it's flowering, it's flowering and fruiting. Yeah. See the flowers. You see the see the fruits growing. You see a bunch of fruits growing up the top here. Mm -hmm. These are great for the summertime. Yeah, okra very easy to grow. Very easy to grow. Very productive. Even with the shade cloth, I set up the shade cloths to shade us while we were working. The okra prefers more full sun, yes. but, it, but it still still grows even with the shade cloths up. Mm -hmm. We'll be rolling those shade cloths back soon too to allow for a little more sunlight this time of year. Yes. So in order to, to clear the weeds out of this bed, this was all also the uh, the chives. We had to cut chives back- Chives and weeds. Chives and weeds, yeah. We had to cut back the, the chive the roots just, just so that we could get the weeds out because it was kind of overgrown. We're not talking about this bed, are we? Well, this well, bed, we need to do the work. Yeah, you can, you can see here, you know, I, we, I went through this bed roughly and pulled out a lot of the big weeds, but you still see there's a lot of small weeds in here still that needs to be pulled out and tilled up. It's okay. Just fertilized. Uh, some, another some, half day work. Yep. Yeah, some pepper plants left over here. Those will come out and we'll plant some new stuff. Mm -hmm. Over here in this bed, you can see we've already, we've already cleared this bed and tilled it. And I planted some beans. And yeah, we got sprouting. Here is green beans, all the varieties that we have. I grow them here. The other side are long beans. They grow fast. We're going to see some beans growing on the trellis. Yep. And you did a great job tilling the garden here. The killer tiller. <laughs> <laughs> I want to show the papaya. You want to show the papaya? Yeah, that's the best growing one we have in the garden now. Yeah. See all those beautiful chive plants? Yes. Delicious chive plants just waiting for you in a matter of a few days, right? It went from yes. where they were cut off to all these fresh chive leaves growing mm -hmm. up. Easy growing, healthy, productive. So our papaya tree is growing really, really well. Yep. Look our, the size. We took the weeds from the garden and, and put them around the bottom of the yeah. papaya tree here to, to help fertilize. How many weeds did we pull out from the garden? Yeah, piles so and piles many and piles. Cars. But you take a look at this. See all these? Look, 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 look. You probably won't keep them all, right? Some of these won't well, stay. Yeah, some of them will fall off, but yeah, still we have a bunch. Stay. Flowering and flowering and growing new leaves. This tree, is, this tree is very happy. Mm -hmm. And then our banana trees. We, we've still got some bananas growing here. 
little bunch here, a little bit bigger bunch over there. That one's yeah. pretty close to being ripe. Hey, Annie. Before I went back to China, we have four banana trees that are fruiting. What happened to the fruit? Uh, they got eaten. <laughs> Not by us, though. <laughs> Something ate them. It wasn't me. I was too busy to even come out here and oh. pick the bananas. <laughs> By the time I remembered, they were already half eaten and, and way overripe, so it wasn't worth the, the effort to even take them down. Oh, I feel bad. Yeah. They were really good. I feel bad too, but you know. We have a few more here. They're not as big as the last one. So this these... is a bigger one. Should be able to pick very soon. Yeah. We also have one more at the back here. It's flowering. Yeah, I don't think that's going to develop much fruit though. It's okay. Springtime, they will grow bigger. Need to fertilize them more. And this is our bamboo. <clears throat> Did you pick any bamboo shoots? And you can see the massive bamboo plant now. And uh, no, I didn't pick any bamboo shoots over the summer either. Oh, what a waste. I, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut some of these down, now, right? Some of these big ones. For now. We're gonna... we, we can trim off the smaller one. We, this started off with one plant, right? This one, this one right here. This is where it started. Uh -huh. This oh. this here. This, this is, is where it all started. <laughs> is it the original? Yeah, this is the original one that we got <clears throat> from uh, one of our, someone in our neighborhood. Yes, we dig from their garden. We took it from their garden and, and rooted it and started it. And then it, within what, it's two years? Two, three, maybe three. Maybe three years. And we've yeah. got this clump of bamboo. Mm -hmm. Ducks here in the pond. Yep. We do have our viewers say that. The yeah. ducks will not come back because they lost their egg because of the, the raccoon possum. Or the possum, yeah, the possum. Yes. But actually they come back. Well, we have mama duck and teenager duckies. They're very happy in the pond. We yeah, finally have water in the pond right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's, this one's still good, honey. No, it will not grow. It's yeah, not but the it's, season. It's solid. I know, it will get rotten. Oh, it's already starting to get rotten. Yes. Half yeah. rotten. Yes. We have to wait for next year to have bamboo shoots. The little bit right there is good. Ew, it's, <laughs> it's bitter. It's, come on, let's go green yeah, it's to see what we're going to do next. All right. Come on. <laughs> Pew! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good time of year for us to grow here in Florida. Yes. Right, so, so after the summertime, it uh, starts to cool off a little bit, gets down to a reasonable temperature where you can work outside mm -hmm. and the plants can survive. You know, it's, uh, the climate's pretty good. We're yes. heading into that magic time of year. Mm -hmm. So Kent did cut the grass right yeah. before he came back home. Trying to do some maintenance. So the farm looked pretty nice right now. Yeah. It's actually ready to be cut again. Good job, honey. I do what I can. Do you want to hold the camera? Sure. After I come back from China, I restarted all the vegetable seed we have, including warm weather vegetable and cool weather vegetable. Right now it's autumn time in our area. We still have two to three months, pretty warm weather. So it's okay for us to grow some warm vegetables. At the same time, I'm starting some cooler vegetable because some of them can tolerate through the warm weather and winter time coming. It's the season for this cool weather vegetable. Anyway, they are growing and we will start to have the vegetable planting in our garden next week in about two to three weeks. Our vegetable will be full again. We will keep updating. Don't forget to come back and check. Thank you very much for watching. That's it for today, right Annie? Yeah, mom's losing her English. <laughs> mm, a little bit. A little bit. Today, just a quick update, let you guys know that we are still working in our garden and we're still producing video and we will have more video to come. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> 关系上有什么问题吗
，但是我们可能会遮点阴，它们也能长。有一些喜凉的蔬菜是比较耐热的，这时候是可以种的。然后这里呢是黄瓜、丝瓜，里面南瓜，然后这些是喜凉的蔬菜了。反正。我们所有的品种，我现在都育苗了。有些苗下个星期就可以摘了，应该两到三个星期，我们这里面的菜地都会种满蔬菜了。到时候我们会多更新一下我们这边的视频的。你看一下，你知道这个是什么？这个是芦笋。我回去了以后没有人浇水，就靠从这个边上溅下来的雨滴啊，这个芦笋竟然一个不剩的存活了下来。为了表示对他们生存能力的认可和感谢，我打算把这些芦笋全部种到菜地里面去。应该明年就有芦笋可以摘了。很多人说：“哎，兔爸爸怎么样了？兔爸爸怎么不出镜了？”今天就给大家来一个更新。好了，那我们下个视频再见，拜拜。